Jenny with Show Me Cute. This is a really exciting movie week in our house. This week is the premiere of the new Catching Fire movie or the sequel to The Hunger Games. We or I have read all of those books and I love, love, love them and I know a lot of you have read them too. So what I wanted to share with you guys was how to make your own cute Catching Fire um, or Hunger Games tote bag that you can use to take all your goodies to your movie this week or just to use for whatever you want afterwards. So let's get started. All right, step one is going to be to purchase a canvas bag or you can even reuse one that maybe you have. They have them in all different colors so you just have to pick the one that you want. Next is this image. This is the image that I went and found on Google Images and I will place on showmecute.com so you can just download and print it. Um, but if you want something else, you can go to Google Images. The only tip for that is to look for the ones that have the highest resolution because if you get ones that have a, a low resolution, say like 300 by 300, when you stretch them out big, they'll get really pixelated and distorted. So the bigger the image, which you want around in the thousand range it will give you a nice good image. So for this one, I'm going to do this and you can do it two different ways, two different versions. So I'm going to start with the first version. In the first version, I'm just going to print it out onto regular paper. Then I'm going to cut out the black part, uh, or I mean the actual image that we want on our bag. All right, I want my image just like you, where you're going to place it and I have my um, spray paint and it's all shaken up and ready to go. Now for filming this video, I got a big old piece of plastic that I use for painting and I covered my surface. Normally I would go outside or in the garage or something like that, but I don't have good lighting out there to show you guys, so I don't recommend doing this inside the house. So all you're gonna do is take your spray paint and come up over the top of your image and spray and we just want kind of a, a splattered effect to it also. And I covered my handles up here if you'll notice because I didn't really want it to get onto the handles of my bag but you guys can decide what you want. And I'm going to stand away a little bit too because I don't want to spray myself. Wherever you want darker spots, just give it a little bit more. And I'm liking it so far. And then all we're going to do, very carefully, is go sham. Wow! Cute little mocking jay. All right, this next version is a little bit different and a little bit more time consuming, but I prefer the looks of this one because it's a little bit crisper, a little bit cleaner. So what you need is Avery full sheet labels and you can get those at Walmart or an office supply store. And so all you're going to do is print the image, the same image, out onto that paper. You're just going to follow the instructions on which way to put it in your printer to make sure it prints on the right side. Then for this one, cutting it out, because there is a lot of fine detail in this image, I found that using my X-Acto knife was easier and getting um, the best thing. So what you're going to do, it's going to be hard, um, is you're going to, the parts that you want that are going to actually, um, you're going to be painting on is going to be the white part of this image or reverse of what we had with this image. So what you want to do is be cutting on the black part and make sure that you're not cutting off too much of the white. So as you go, you're just going to cut along and cut that all the way out. And if you can get little tiny scissors in there to help you in some parts, you can do that too. So what you're going to do is you're going to place, after you cut everything out, you're going to take this image that you had and you're going to peel off the back because all the white images that are left from your sheet are just going to look like a bunch of random puzzle pieces. And so I found that it was easier if you took all of this and stuck it on where you want your image. So we're going to stick that on and then you can go back and put on all of the white images and then peel this one 
peel this one off so that all you will have left is all the white images on there. So we're basically cutting out and then placing on and then peeling off this black part. And so then you will take your paint and I just used my handy dandy craft brush and just any old craft paint. It won't come off. You don't have to have special fabric paint or anything like that. And so then you'll just go in and you'll be painting this image onto your bag and then you just peel off the paper. Now I've stuck all the pieces back in there and then you're just going to take this part and pull it off. If you've overlapped anything, at this point it doesn't matter if anything gets ripped on the black part. And this is what we want to look like. Then you want to go and make sure that all of your edges are down as good as they're going to get. At this point, you're just going to take a general craft paint. It doesn't have to be fabric paint, just craft paint. And with your brush, you're going to just go in and you're going to paint inside where we don't have the paper. Um, be careful not to get under the edges. And when you're all finished painting, you just peel everything off. Okay, I am all finished and I want to know which color combination is your favorite and which version of the bag is your favorite. I also wanted to tell you for one finishing tip, if you're using black, um, either black paint or a black bag, you can also take a black Sharpie and crisp up your edges anywhere that you might want to fix any blemishes. So I am ready for the movies. I don't know about you. I have all this candy here. What kind is your favorite? See if you can guess which of these is Trevor's favorite. This week is his birthday. It's the big 14. And so don't forget to wish him a happy birthday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute. This week is a really exciting week. It's Trevor's birthday. Uh, let's start over.